Okay, guys. Welcome back. As you can see, we're in the bathroom. Not a lot to see here. Um, this is a three-piece bathroom, shower, toilet, sink area. Um, so not a super large space, but decent enough. Um, so we got a little small project that we're going to do today. And I um, hope you guys can see me okay. Um, I've got you positioned uh, because we're going to tackle that shower head um, today. Um, so how many of you know when you've got a tub surround, shower surround, you know, type thing or towel, um, anything of that nature, it is super hard to clean when you don't have a flexible shower head. So that is what we're going to be changing out today. Um, so um, this is only my second time tackling this. So let's see if I remember what I'm doing. Um, so bear with me, take you guys along with me. I'm going to turn you around for a quick second and show you. So here are some of the tools we'll be using. So here's the connector here. I've got a two here. I've got a wrench back there. Um, this is obviously the handheld shower head that we'll be using. We got our little washers here. We got some plumber's tape here. And that actually came in the bag with the supplies. And then here's the flexible shower head. So it is super long. So it gives us plenty of room to clean. And that's what um, she wanted. So we're going to attempt to put this up today. Let you guys join me. All right. So I'll turn you back around. Okay. Um, so... I am, will be using, attempting to use this, um, what is this, a wrench? Pliers? Heck if I know. But anyway, <laughs> this is the tool we'll be using um, to hopefully get that shower head all loose and so that we can get it started. Um, all right, so let's go. Okay, um, so we got that off, let's see, so, uh, like I said, now this is only my second time, so, obviously this is the piece that's going to hold the, you can see that, this is the piece that the shower head is going to rest in, and because we know that this piece goes in there, so, we know that this piece obviously must connect here. Now, what I don't know is do I put a washer into this part? I don't know if that goes in there or not. It doesn't leave like seem like it leaves a enough grooves to screw on if I put it in there. So um let me see how they all the same thickness. Okay, here's one that looks like it's a little bit thinner, so maybe. We'll put that one in there and I'm going to just, I'm not going to, maybe I don't screw this on yet. Look, how about we don't put that on yet? So I'm just going to, I'm going to put this on the sink back here for now. And we're going to attempt to get this part on first. So we're going to try to get this part hooked up first. So let's take some of this. So I saw when I took the old shower head off, I saw where the plumber's tape was wrapped. So I'm just going to repeat that same process. If I can find the beginning of this. Okay, so here we go.
and I have no idea how much of this I'm supposed to wrap. It did seem like a like very much that I just that I took off. So we're not we're gonna kind of stick with that and not do very much here. Um, and then, like I said, because this part here holds that shower head, I'm assuming that this part connects to the old piece. So we're just gonna unscrew that on there. tool back See, that works. Okay. And then I'm going to take this really thin washer. Not sure if this is right or wrong, but I'm going to put it in there. Um, and then take one of the little bit thicker washer and put it in that part. And then see if we can get these things connected. Scrolling on a little bit crooked. Need to be conscious to line that up. There we go. Much better. And I may have to come back and tighten this up. Okay, let's see if that works. May have to it's working. It is leaking. I'm not sure if you guys can see it from back here. It does have a little bit of a leak there, so um, that needs to be tightened up a little bit more, and then we'll go from there. Otherwise, it's working.
Let's try that again. Okay, it's on, but maybe it needs someone a little bit stronger than me to tighten it up. There we go. There we go. It just needed to be tightened some more. No more leaks. It is not leaking. So we're going to take that. And... Yes, that's going to be super easy. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. It is not leaking anymore. So, good job. Went too hard can do it so can you so some things we don't need to call a plumber for just don't be afraid to um get in there and put a little bit of elbow strength okay so i am going to let you guys i'm going to unhook you here and let you guys just see what the rest of this bathroom looks like really quickly and we'll wrap up um today's video okay i'm gonna turn you around put my tools away all right here we go and again look who's at my feet <laughs> okay so that is just a little extra washer that they had an extra one in the back. Um, so here we go. So we just have some hand soap there, paper towel holder, some lotions. That is the old shower head that I took off. Um, built this great mirror here. Um, and we just stuck a mirror that she already had since it was in this um, teal green. It's kind of blue on camera, but it is teal green. Um, which is the colors that she has in this bathroom. Um, and just a few essentials, obviously trash can, toilet bowl cleaner, toilet, nothing <laughs> nice about that. Um, this teal and white striped shower curtain and gray and teal. And then we just have this little teal rug. She has a teenage son and if you know, like I know, Loves music, blast music all the time. So this is his music when he's in here taking a shower. I'll run you out of the house. Um, and then there you are. Pretty easy, just needed a little bit of strength um, behind it. Had to tighten it up really tight to keep it from leaking. It was leaking from that part right there. So you wanna make sure um, you tighten that really, really good. Um, and then obviously that's my little, my little plumber's tape. Um, but that's it. Now cleaning will be super easy. Okay guys, 
All right, then that's it for today's video. Um, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.